Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to do a bit more on the Vectra. Right, plan on the Vectras today is, um, I've got these bolts and washers that hold back axle on. So I want to get these fully cleaned on my bench grinder, clean them all up, and then I want to treat them um, by heating them up and just dropping them in a bit of oil just to protect them a bit more. So that's the plan, get these done and then get the back axle on ready then so we can move on with the project so uh, yeah I get the set up on the bench grinder and then uh, we'll get these cleaned treated and we'll get the back axle back on today so yeah that's the plan right set up here on the bench grinder so all I want to do clean just the heads off them and then we'll get them treated so that's all we need to do with these clean all the heads get all the rust off probably clean the threads up as well so they're nice and clean so they go back in good but yeah get them done and then we've got the washers that need a good clean as well and then we'll heat these up and treat these as well so that's the plan so i'll just get my glasses and then uh, we'll get a bit of time lapse cleaning all these up and then we'll get on the bench and get these heated up might be worth doing these with the drill and wire brush because this vibrates quite a lot so uh, yeah I think they, we'll do these with the drill on the bench but uh, all the bolts they've come out quite nice so happy days so yeah get set up on the bench and then I'll come back in all right bolts of sound on the bench grinder so all I need to do now four washers and um, they need cleaning um, and then treating so what I'll do I'll get these got the got my drill wire brush on we'll give these a good going over and then we'll uh, treat them all up so probably I'll just chuck in a bit of time lapse again doing these and then uh, I'll show you how, I've, how I'm planning on treating them.
Right, that's them four cleaned up. Uh, they've turned that all right. So what I need to do now is I want to heat them up. So I'll get a tub for oil and I just want to heat them up and then drop them in the oil and that should give them a protection against rust again. So that's my plan. So I'll get the washers and the bolts um, heat them up with a blow torch and uh, yeah just basically drop them in oil and then uh, they should be all good then so that's the plan so I'll get a tub get some oil and uh, I'll cut back in right I've done one so what I've done got a bit of used engine oil and say I've done one and it's come out black and that's basically a before and after so that's before and then that's after and uh, yeah hopefully now they shouldn't rust because they've been dipped in oil so I'll get the other three done off camera just because it's a boring process I'm happy with how it's turned out, so. But they shouldn't rust now because they've been dipped in oil and a bit of a treating on them, so. So, yeah, so I'll get the other three done and then uh, we'll move on to the washers. Right, that's all the bolts done and all the washers done. Um, come out quite good, actually. Happy with them. So. All four come out really nice. So hopefully now, well technically now, they should never rust again on the heads. And same with the, the washers, they're all nice, nice and black. Um, so. I've just just took them out of the oil. So still a bit warm. But uh yeah. Come out nice as well. I've always always used used oil but I'm sure you, you could use any oil really. So Right, so all these done. Um, still a bit warm, so what I'll do is uh, we'll let these cool down a bit. While these are cooling down, I'll get myself set up under the under the car, ready to put the axle on. And uh, yeah, come out really good. These quite happy with them. See, I've always used. Um, used oil when I'm doing this but I suppose in a way you could probably use any oil that you've got available so but used oil works for me so I just use used oil so and I've got plenty of it but yeah really nice really happy really good so say so still a bit warm so I'll get set up under the car and uh, we'll get these put back on. Happy days. Right, set up under here now. So, got the jack, got this, couple of rags. So, get a couple of bolts in now, get rid of the jack, and then, uh, yeah, we're nearly there. Uh, this pipe needs. Just putting underneath the fuel pipe, but um, yeah, that's all uh, in and sorted. 
so I can do that once the axle's in anyway so so yeah it's no problem just want to get this in while I can and then we can start on things like the exhaust and and all the trailing arms and everything else so so yeah jack this up get this in quite hard on your own Lined up with one hole. So the next plan now get get trailing arms done. Pipes finished. Um, that's once all the arms are done. Painted, clean. Um, we don't have actually that much left on the back end to do. I've still got welding to do on the inner arches, which is common on the vector bees. Still got them to weld up, and I say, I think it's just things like brake pipes. Once the brake pipes are in, um, yeah, I think we're not far off back end being complete. Then, hopefully, next couple of weeks we'll get the back end finished. Um, do want to order? I'm actually putting um, 300 mil Saab discs on the back because I've got something special to put on the back end for brake calipers and also the front because originally the front had Brembo's. So it's going to have front and back Brembo's on with 300mm discs on the back and 321's on the front. So, so yeah, it's going together slowly. So yeah, All right, two more bolts to put in, let's get them in. Right, we're on. We're looking good. I like them. 
really do like how I've done them bolts on this. It's looking really good. Yeah, I'm happy. Right, that's pretty much done there now. Um, for this part now, we are done. So, um, yeah, I think we'll call it there now. So, yeah, I like them. Really like that. Looks nice there with the tank. Right, so. We'll get from under there now, and then uh, just a bit tight. Right, back axles back on. Um, all bolted up. Extremely happy with how it's all turned out. Especially the bolts. I really like the bolts how they've come out. Um, so yeah, that's all done now. Um, hopefully in the next video, start getting on with the wiring. And so, so yeah. Um, just want to say um, welcome to the new subscribers and old subscribers um, getting a few now so I'm, I'm really starting to like doing the videos and I love doing what I do anyway with the cars and everything I do in the garage engineering and everything like that I just I love all that so uh, hopefully the channel will go and uh, yeah, we'll have plenty of new content. Um, Say, so I've got the ST, that's my project, the black one. Uh, I've got a couple of jobs to coming up on the wife's ST. So, keep an eye out for them videos. Still got an engine, uh, fully engine to rebuild for the ST. So yes, I'd say I've got plenty of content coming up, so so yeah, hope you like it so far. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, drop your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll uh, see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.